beats us to the punch. Hey there, Brown Knuckle News fans. I am here after the big press conference at BKFC 47, where David Mundell retained his title. Dave, kind of break that fight down for us tonight. It was very interesting. You know, we went out there and, um, you know, very early on, he put me into my butt and I just looked at my corner for advice and right away we, we changed something up and we went out there and we did what we had to do. What did your corner tell you to change up then? Uh, to push forward with active head movement. Did Richmond do anything to surprise you during the fight? The fact that he was able to find me. And specifically, how did you train for him? Because he's a very crafty veteran of the sport with a lot of power as well. You know, coming from shift MMA, I'm already fighting or sparring with a lot of southpaws. Uh, so it just kind of tied in with, with the way the fight was going to be. Um, so from there, we just took what we knew we were going to do in the game plan, and we just worked it and repped it over and over again. And as you see, it was the right thing to do. But it sounds like you didn't really stick to your game plan if you had to change things up when you went to the corner, or no? Well, we were going to come out and sharpshoot for a little bit and then kind of find the openings. But he... You know, he's a veteran, so right away he was able to find me, and we just had to, you know, turn the gas on fast so that uh, he didn't understand that I was hurt. Do you feel like there was any extra pressure in your night, not only defending your title, but fighting in your hometown? Because that would make me nervous. Absolutely not. Fighting in my hometown is, is what I love. You know, having all those people out there cheering me on, pumping me up, I feed off that energy. I, I, I say it multiple times, and it's just, it's awesome. What do you think the best thing is about being a BKFC fighter? You know, the notability, everyone, when I was doing MMA, like, they knew of me, heard of me, whatever, but now people know who I am. Do you feel you really found yourself then in, in that niche then? Because you did come from MMA, and you really are flourishing so well with this community here at BKFC. Do you feel like you found the spot for you to grow then? Absolutely. You know, BKFC is already the, the best bare-knuckle organization out there. It's the fastest-growing combat sport right now, and we're taking off, and I'm, gonna, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> Before we go tonight, any friends, family, or sponsors you'd like to thank? You know, I have everyone who came out tonight. And then uh, I did, I'd always do a really good job of ripping my sponsors. You notice as soon as I walk out and they got the camera on me, I lower myself down so that they can actually get a, a, get a peek of my sponsors. So if you guys can see that clip and anything on there that you want to look up and reach out, and, and it, that's how you show me support. It's show my sponsor support. And finally, any thoughts on who you'd like to face in the future? I want, I want Mike Perry next. Where are you at? Where you at? And you fought him in 2016, as I recall. Is that right? Yes. Well, I don't know about the exact date, but we have fought actually twice. Once as an amateur, once as a pro, both in MMA. Oh, I like that fight. Mike, where are you? Dave's waiting for you. <laughs> All right. So congratulations and thanks again for your interview. I appreciate it. For Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Singori, and this is... I'm Renek Mundell. And remember, no one beats us to the punch.